characteristics or features the first feature is large number of sellers in a perfectly competitive market there are innumerable sellers there are many sellers it's, it's quite possible that you might not be able to count the number of sellers you might not be able to quantify or gauge the number of sellers we just can say that there are many sellers in the market so is the case with the buyers there are many buyers in the market so now what happens is each seller forms a very small part of the whole market when we take an individual seller he won't be able to impact the market much because there are many other sellers innumerable sellers in the market so even if an individual seller increases the price of the product or decreases the price of the product he possibly might not be able to impact the market impact the demand in the market impact the supply in the market because he becomes a very small player in the market because there are many other sellers the next is the commodity is homogeneous now the homogeneous commodity means the commodity is identical I mean all the sellers are selling the same product there is no difference between the products sold by any of the sellers i said there are innumerable sellers yet every seller is selling the same product then we have no entry and exit barriers in the market there are no entry and exit barriers that means nobody can stop any buyer from entering into the market nobody can stop any seller from entering into the market and starting to sell his product now all these assumptions make it difficult for the market to exist in practice let's say if anybody can become a doctor and start his services how would it be i mean for to become i mean to become a doctor you need to pass exams you need to undergo internship but let's say there were no such requirements to become a doctor and you for example set up a dispensary in the market and start giving your services as a doctor how would it be such is the case with perfect competition there are no barriers at all you do not have any barriers likewise any company can start and manufacture any drug there are no barriers for it i mean it does not require any licenses any patents or anything of that sort how would the market be it would be very difficult to operate so there are no entry and exit barriers in a competitive market which is perfectly competitive next is buyers and sellers have all the knowledge about market conditions all the knowledge about the goods all the knowledge about the price the demand the supply everything i said there are innumerable number of buyers i said there are innumerable number of sellers and all the buyers all the sellers have all the information about the market conditions they know what is the price that the sellers are charging i mean talking about buyers what the price uh, the sellers are charging what is the product that they are selling what are the technical aspects of the product at the same time the sellers also know what is the price that the other sellers are charging that is their competitors are charging what are the other services that their competitors are giving what is the demand in the market what is the supply in the market so both the buyers and the sellers have complete knowledge about the market conditions there is free movement of goods there is no restriction on the movement of goods the market is open there are no taxes laid there are no duties levied 
there is no restriction on any of the goods irrespective of the nature of the goods even if the goods are of dangerous nature there is no restrictions on the movement of the goods and finally the firm is a price taker now because of all the above assumptions the firm that is the seller suddenly becomes the price taker the firm is the seller in the market so the seller becomes the price taker now why does the seller become the price taker it's because he is a very small player in the market he cannot make his price let's say it's a market about toothpaste all the sellers are selling the same toothpaste and the price set in the market is rupees 25 for the toothpaste now this seller wants to increase his sales what should he do he should ideally reduce the prices when he reduces the prices what happens is he is still able to sell equal number of products because one assumption in a perfect competition is all the sellers are able to sell all their products and all the buyers are able to satisfy their requirements so when this seller is able to sell all his produce at 25 rupees now if he is reducing the price to rupees 24 he will be incurring a loss of rupees 1 on each of the products sold on each toothpaste sold so it would be stupid of him to reduce the price so he cannot reduce the price he is too small in the market to impact the price or impact the demand again if he tries to increase the price let's say he tries to charge 26 rupees i told you that the buyers have all the knowledge about the market conditions so they know which seller is selling at what price because this seller this particular seller would be charging more the buyers would shift to other sellers and believe me this seller won't be able to sell even a single toothpaste because the buyers have all the knowledge about the market conditions thus we can see that the firm by itself cannot set the price the price has to be set by the whole market the forces of demand and supply set the price in the market and a result of this the firm the seller becomes a price taker now if you look at all these characteristics you can see that these characteristics taken together all taken together at time make it very impractical for the market to operate i mean you cannot have innumerable buyers buying the same product shopping for the same product you cannot have innumerable sellers for the same product again the assumption that the buyers and sellers have perfect knowledge about the market it's impossible for such high number of buyers and such high number of sellers to have perfect knowledge about the market conditions you have no entry and exit barriers there is free movement of good we never seen such markets in our life so this type of a market exists only in theory it's only an academic concept but these assumptions give rise to a new kind of a market a new model of a market which we call the perfect competition it is also called as pure competition and when you build this market on these assumptions you get an insight into how a market operates
how is price set in a market what would be the equilibrium for a firm how are the revenues generated for the firm what is the quantum of profits that it will have by selling a particular number of units or what is the amount of profits it will have if we if the seller sells the equilibrium quantity of goods so now let's see how all this takes place in the perfectly competitive market